Morning all, another beautiful day down here in Cornish land. And I've already had one coffee when I got up. And I was just sat there, I've just published, what is it now? Oh, it's just gone midday, oh, it's lunch time. Uh, and I was just sat there thinking, oh, I really fancy me a coffee, but it's like, it's too hot to drink a hot black coffee, if you know what I mean. And then I suddenly remembered. And for the record, this is a thought process I have to go through every single year, because I completely forget about my summertime coffee habit of cold brew coffee. Oh, the angels started singing, my heart started pumping faster. Like, I had a right moment. So I've got a jug of cold water. I've got uh, some coarsely ground, freshly ground, coarsely freshly ground coffee beans. I don't know what I'm trying to say. All I know is I'm very excited about making cold brew. The worst part of this is that it won't actually be ready until tonight or tomorrow morning so I need to kind of just get on with it and stop talking for once um so coffee and I put mine into one of these bags this is the kind of bag that you make milk from not cow's milk you know the milk that you can make from almonds or oats or whatever you don't need to do this you can pour the coffee ground straight into the cold water I just find this step makes it a little bit quicker for me to get the caffeine because I don't then need to strain it so I just do that and I dip it all in there and now I need to grind more I'll be back. So there's my huge bag of coffee grounds. That goes into the jug with the cold water. And then we just let it steep for, I think it's 12 to 18 hours, something like that. It really doesn't matter. And this makes, obviously, with half a litre of water, this is gonna make a very, very, very strong coffee concentrate. That's the word. So it's great because it doesn't take up much room in your fridge um, because you have to keep watering it down every time you use it. So I'm gonna pop this in the fridge and then every time I think about it or every time I walk past the fridge, I'll give it a little stir. And then tomorrow, my taste buds will be very, very happy. It's kind of a shame I didn't think about this yesterday because obviously then I could be drinking one, which would be far more fun than just making one. Right, into the fridge with you, my precious. So because I've now gone and teased myself about having a cold brew, which I can't have yet, instead what I'm gonna do is make an iced black coffee, which isn't anywhere near as nice. When you put coffee grounds or coffee beans into hot water, you get all the extracts out, you get all that lovely flavor, you get all that caffeine, but you also get all that bitterness. Now in a hot black coffee, I don't mind that in the slightest, but the thing with cold brew is because you're not putting hot water onto that coffee, you're using cold water, hence the name, you're not extracting the bitterness. You still get all the flavor and all the caffeine, but you don't get that real bitter hit, which I actually quite like in a hot coffee, not so much in an iced coffee. So when you then go and make an iced black coffee, so you make that with boiling water, you do still get the bitterness, it's not as nice, but now I've got it into my head that I need a nice coffee. Needs must, Jane, needs must. So let's do that instead. Well, it may not be a cold brew, but it's still damn good. At my hospital job in the summer, I always carry one of these in, but in a plastic beaker, not a glass one. And by the time I get to Plymouth, it's like 20, 25 mile journey. The ice cubes have melted and they've gone like more round. They don't look <laughs> so much like ice cubes. And I was going up in the lift one day with a bunch of other people and a lady asked me if I was drinking pickled onion juice because it looked like I was sipping out of a jar of pickled onions. <laughs> ah, what a lovely thought for the day. All right, I have now got that gigantuan pot of wild garlic has drained out now in the sink. I completely forgot to finish that off yesterday. I'm a very bad person. So what I'm going to do is I've got quite a few wild garlic recipes on my website and the photos, like they're really old, the photos are terrible. So I'm going to reshoot some of those, which should be fun. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to make some wild garlic butter. So I'm going to do the garlic butter first, then I'm going to make um, wild garlic egg mayo. I think that recipe was from like 2012 or something. The photos are horrendous, but they're not good. So I'm gonna reshoot that one. 
and then that'll be Johnny's egg mayo for tomorrow fix sorted as well. And then if there's any wild garlic left, and I'm not entirely sure there will be, to be honest, but if there is any left, then I'll make more of that wild garlic pesto um, and freeze that in those little blobs like I did the other day. And then I just know that I've got a really nice stash. And because the season is quite short, I might even make more for the freezer because wild garlic is over so, so quickly and that stash won't last for very long in the freezer. So the more I can lay down, the better. I did contemplate drying some. I have tried drying it before in the dehydrator, but you can imagine once you've taken all the moisture out of this leaf and you grind it up, like it's a minuscule amount, but it's saying that it would be really nice to have a jar of wild garlic powder up there that I could flavor and color foods with maybe for like some savory wild garlic pancakes or something like that. So I might, next time I'm out, I might take another run down to my friend Angie's Woods and pick some more. So I'm just gonna crack on and make these recipes. If you're interested, I'll link to them below. This first recipe for the wild garlic butter slash wild garlic bread uses, the recipe calls for 100 grams of butter. I'm going to 2.5 times it by using 250 grams and I'm just going to stick it in the food processor and let it do its thing. So it's a bit of a lazy one really. And I'll keep docking back in with you guys if anything interesting happens along the way. Unlikely, but you never know. Well, this is clearly where all the cool chicks hang out. I've been having a party in there, I think, and in that one too, and all the others are empty today. They're funny girls. Wow, I want me a power nap again. I'm pooped. <laughs> get it? Oh, God. <laughs> this is possibly starting to get to me. <laughs> oh, dearie me. So here we are again. It's day 18. Is that right? It's nuts. Imagine if we'd had a conversation a year ago. Oh yeah, the UK is going to be, actually the whole world's going to be locked down. There won't be planes flying. You won't be able to leave your house for weeks at a time. We'd be like, yeah, whatever. Holy cow, it's happening. And I've just unfortunately caught up with today's news, day 18 of the UK uh, official enforced lockdown. And apparently 953 people have died in the UK in the last 24 hours. Let's just let that sink in for a minute. 953 people. That's higher than Italy's worst day. And we had the notice that Italy didn't have. It's not good enough, man. It's really not good enough. Anyway, these videos are not going to become political, nor are they going to become depressing. That is the whole point. That is the absolute antithesis of what we're trying to create here. We're trying to create some sunshine in the lives of people that are stuck staring at the same four walls. I have the luxury of a sunny farm to go and play on, so that is what these videos are going to be about i just didn't want to let that number pass because like wow that's horrifying absolutely horrifying so let's get back to our poo shall we <laughs> so man i am totally wild garlic out i've made what have i made the wild garlic butter hopefully john's going to pop out later and get me a baguette so that i can shoot turning the wild garlic butter into wild garlic bread. I've made wild garlic egg mayo. I've made more wild garlic soup and double whammy winner. Love it. And I think I've still got some leaves left. Um, so I'll see how much I've got. I might just, I, I don't even know, I might just chop it up and freeze it as is. Don't know. I'm feeling a little bit zonked now though, so I don't really want to be making any more <laughs> wild garlic recipes today, please and thank you. <laughs> I'm kind of done with photography as well and staring at screens. I, I need to go out and get some fresh air.
He's a funny chicken, aren't ya? A funny girl. <laughs> you lot make me giggle. Mother has just had another Sainsbury's delivery. So she tacked on some goodies for me. So the things that are making my world happy right now are new microfiber cloths. This girl knows how to party. What am I trying to tell you? I restocked. I only got two. See? How good is that? But what's really cute is that my mommy bought me at Easter egg. Mine is dairy free. It's probably going to be minging. Most dairy free chocolate is pretty grim. She ordered each of us, me, Johnny, herself, and my brother. She ordered all four of us an Easter egg, and I was the only one that got one. This is uh, vegan and free from. It's free from dairy, gluten, egg and nuts, and it's caramel and sea salt. And the other thing that's making me happy is my mozzarella stash. It's a little bit better off saying that. I think I'm going to eat this one now. <laughs> I think I've mentioned in a previous video, I rip these bags open, I stand at the sink and I peel it off in layers. I'm not going to do it on camera because, you know, we don't know each other that well. Right, I was going to go a gardening and go and plant these parsnip seeds but I am actually making an executive decision it is now oh dead on the nose of half past four and I'm, I've kind of had it today so I'm gonna go and eat my bowl of mozzarella cheese and then I'm gonna crack open this little puppy and see what this is like and if it's horrible then I'm gonna crack one of these puppies open um, I'm gonna go and watch some trashy TV and I'm gonna do absolutely nothing for the rest of the day so i've got no idea how much footage there is for you lot today i really hope there's something of interest in there maybe i don't know i'm really sorry just kind of feel like i need to just stop today and just like just go and relax a little bit so on that note lovely people please look after yourselves and i'll catch up with you in tomorrow's video stay safe stay smiling see you soon about the urge. Sometimes you just have to go with your urges. Ooh, hang on, before I go, you'll be watching this Saturday morning. Saturday night is the next Great British Camp Out. Go Google it. Be there or be square. <laughs>